There's a rhythm to Colombia that I can't quite put my foot on. It's vibrant, fast and fun, yet tranquil, easy and breathtaking. I love it. Now my journey here begins back in 2021 with my old tour ride around France. Before I kicked off that ride, I thought we could use some of the attention to raise some funds for World Bicycle Relief. And well, the response kind of blew my mind. As I wrapped up that ride, I tried to wrap my head around the incredible support from you all. I became curious as to where the bikes would end up, which is why I find myself in Colombia. It's our first morning in Barranquilla. It's about 6.30 and we're going for a bike ride. Uh, unfortunately, my bike didn't make it on the plane, um, but luckily we have bikes here and I'm on the Buffalo bike today, uh, which I'm actually excited about. One tool, fix the whole bike. What a dream. It only takes a few pedal strokes to realise why all the locals are returning from their morning rides at 7am, not getting ready to leave like us. It's hot and humid, but the riding is fantastic and we were able to bang out a quick 75k's before lunch. World Bicycle Relief is a non-profit founded in 2005. Its aim is to distribute bikes as a means to combat poverty. The program in Colombia was kicked off here, in Barranquilla, in 2019. We're at the headquarters to take a closer look at the origin of their operation. We just had a bit of lunch and now we've come down to the uh, assembly plant. So this is basically the hub of all um, the, the World Bicycle Relief activities in Colombia. Started operations right at the back end of 2019. And I think year one we did a little bit over, was it 2,700? Last year we did 7,000 and something. And this year we've got the projection of being about 9,000 bikes. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's 9,000 bikes that are going to come through here and be built yeah. right here. Yeah. It's more than just someone getting a bike, right? Like it's like a whole community of people who can be like empowered through the process of exactly. giving. Exactly. The communities you're trying to reach are based around like typically neglected communities or like a specific need. What they do is like we operate with the Ministry of Education yeah. and then we look for kids who will have to, to walk more than three, mile, three kilometers a day to go to school. Okay. We're at the house of uh, Valerie, who's the little girl who's gonna be receiving a bike today. And we got out here early enough so we can follow her on her walk to school. Taking a short flight inland to Monteria, where World Bicycle Relief are delivering hundreds of bikes to local schools and community organisations. The morning starts early for kids around here, with a four and a half kilometre walk to and from school on the cards every day. A bike can reduce that time dramatically, making the effort of getting to and from school much easier, and more importantly, safer. So how, like having a, a bike now, like how is it gonna, help to change things. Well, 
Yeah, we've got like, I think 205 bikes to hand out. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to get to the handing out. You know, there's a lot of kids here, you can see it just like, brimming with excitement to get a bike. Um, so, that's what we're gonna do. The program with World Bicycle Lift's a lot more involved than just simply like turning up and giving everyone a bunch of bikes. Um, like seeing the process of how they're selecting where the bikes go and then ensuring like that the bikes uh, are used properly and that um, the, the beneficiaries are actually getting the most out of um, the bike. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole process. Enough formalities, let's go bike riding. What are the biggest challenges the kids attending this school face generally? Difficulties economic, sí, han tenido sobre todo porque acá, por lo menos, eh, hay mucho, eh, pues a veces las fuentes de trabajo son escasas y los papás o se les dificulta. Esto les ha mejorado porque eh, no tienen que pagar pasajes para trasladarse de su vivienda acá, incluso las veces que lo requiera. A veces tienen que venir en la mañana y en la tarde y con esa bicicleta ellos están ahorrándose un promedio de por lo menos seis mil pesos diarios. Is it nice to have a bike for fun, for independence? Sí, me gusta mucho venir en bicicleta y también gusta ir a montar a, a la ciclovía con mis amigos. And have you noticed a, a general change in the community? just with having more bikes around. Este, no solamente sirven para los productos, sino como por decir así, para los enfermos, para que uno eh, de unos primeros auxilios, porque como nosotros somos una comunidad que geográficamente estamos encajonados, no tenemos un puente vehicular, entonces antes los enfermos los transportaban era en hamaca o algo, entonces eh, las condiciones económicas de la comunidad para tener un vehículo o una moto o un transporte y en cambio que la bicicleta no necesita gasolina, no necesita nada y entonces es mucho más rápido llevar a una persona también en, en la parte de salud. for a bike ride, we're going to ride over to the next bike hand out. Um, we've got a bunch of local kids to take me. It's nice to know that a group ride with some local juniors hasn't changed since the last time I visited Colombia. It's fast from the gun and everyone wants to beat the gringo. The 50Ks went past quick. And yes, those teenagers ripped my legs off. Today we're in a different part of the region surrounding Monteria and we're here to distribute another couple of hundred bikes to local girls and women. The second the girls jumped on these bikes and like rode down the street here, you can see just like just pure joy, like freedom, independence, all of that just like like a few pedal strokes, um, so it's, that's like the most amazing thing to see, I think, you know, like that final result. My time here in Colombia has been really eye-opening. The people, the culture and the riding are invigorating. I feel at home here. The journey I took around France last July feels like a million miles from rural Colombia, and yet they are linked through the bike and its power to affect change. The bike is universal and dynamic, 
it can and does change lives the world over. To witness the impact on the young girls, boys and women of one small region is inspiring. It has reminded me that the bike is an incredible tool. All we have to do is think about it differently.